Lapsit. With Lapsit, you can create amazing and professional looking time lapses. Long story short, a time lapse is a technique in which a video is created by capturing images at lower frame rate than the usual for video or film. If we capture 30 frames per second and play them back at 30 frames per second, well, that's just a regular video. But what happens if we capture one frame every 12 seconds and play it back at 30 frames per second? Aha! Freaking awesome, right? We'll show you just how easy it is to create your own time lapse using Lapsit. You can download the free version from the Android market and try it out today. As you can see, it's a very simple, straightforward app. Before capturing anything, we want to go to settings. Frame interval and time scale together control the time between each picture or frame is taken. The only resolution you can use in the free version is 240p. For this demonstration, we will buy Lapsit Pro at a very low price of just $199. Now we are able to use the camera's full sensor up to 1080p and access to all the great features this amazing app has to offer. We will be capturing one frame every 12 seconds using the full camera sensor. If you wanted, you could also schedule your capture. The left menu of the capture interface is so easy to use. It has shortcuts for basic functions. So here we are at the Navy Pier trying to capture the sunset behind the Chicago skyline. Just try to make sure your phone stays still during the capture. We attached ours to a camera tripod. You can also buy a special tripod for your phone. Some classic subjects of time-lapse photography include cloudscapes and celestial motion, plants growing and flowers opening, cars and people in the city. Once we finish capturing, we just make sure our preferred options from our render settings are selected. Lapsit has a unique and powerful render engine that will export the proper Android video format, MP4, as well as two other popular formats, MOV and FLV. Our capture will be found in the gallery, where we could play it back, edit it, add effects or music, and render it. Be aware that selecting a lower frame rate for your render will make the interval of images longer, and so you're...